For the coming month, I expect to be talking to you about a whole lot of issues, and I'll always be direct with you. But today, I want to talk about gestures of support and encouragement that I've made to women and some men that made them uncomfortable. And I always tried to be uh, in my career. I've always tried to make a human connection. That's my responsibility. I think I shake hands, I hug people, I I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, "You can do this. And you can do this." Our former vice president, he's... And, uh, and whether they're women, men, young, old, it's, it's the way I've always been. It's the way I've tried to show I care about them and I'm listening. And over the years, knowing what I've been through, the things that I've faced, I've found that scores, if not hundreds of people have come up to me and reached out for solace or comfort, something, something, anything that may help them get through the tragedy they're going through. Joe? You having a good time, Joe? And, uh, and, and so, I, it's just, just poop who I am. You having a good time? And I've never thought of politics as cold and antiseptic. I, I've always thought of about connecting with people. Like I said, shaking hands, uh, hands on the shoulder, a hug, uh, encouragement. And now, and now it, it's all about taking selfies together. Uh, you know, social norms have begun to change, they've shifted, and the boundaries of protecting personal space Grab